What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are going to be installing Make Visuals Great Again. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the troops that are fighting for our freedom. Um, guys, I just want to tell you all, uh, everybody that's part of my Discord, uh, my moderators, my, my admins, um, I just want to tell you guys thank you so much for being in there. And looking over my Discord and chit-chatting in there, guys. It really, really means a lot to me. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get got some in my mouth here. And I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> All right. Something weird always happens when I start a stream. Like, I got to get a drink of water or yeah, start coughing from this flu or something. But I just want to tell you guys, my moderators and admins, thank you all so much for holding down the fort in there. It really means a lot to me. It takes a lot of stress off of me, you know, and... And uh, and everybody that's a part of my Discord and a part of this YouTube channel, thank you all so much. Um, just thank you. That's that's really all I can say. I can never stress those two words enough. Thank you. It's just, uh, you know. Um, okay, so in this video, I didn't do it in the last one, but in this one, I am going to do the shout-outs, guys, because I promised you, okay? Um... <coughs> So just bear with me with my flu and everything. I start my antibiotics um, today, and um, so hopefully it'll all get cleared up. But anyway, uh, I got a pretty good list again. So here we go with the YouTube shoutouts of the week. Now, keep in mind that sometimes YouTube shows me the notifications for who subscribes to me, and sometimes it doesn't. So if you've subscribed to me and you don't hear me call out your name, then comment in the section below and let me know that you subscribe to me and I'll give you a shout out because I don't want to miss anybody you know what I'm saying I want to give you credit if you're hitting that subscribe button I want people to know that you did it okay so the first YouTube shout out for the week goes to Jake and then to Mr. Bo Daniels guys go check out Bo Daniels page he is a fine musician a great guy one of my good friends uh, everybody go check out his page Bo Daniels B-O-D-A-N-I-E-L-S and next is Mana 843, Grant E N E A N W U, something like that. Granny Any. Grant E N E A N W U. Next one is Cyprin Scython. I think that's how you pronounce it. S Y E T N H. And then uh Moss Bergman. Uh okay guys. I'm gonna try so hard to pronounce this. Uh, J uh, Jiri Jiri A I U Butt Rat. So <laughs> I have no idea. Um, spawning Salmon, Haxing Bros. I got you, man. Yeah, he's, he was one of the ones that commented because I hadn't seen him from my notifications. So I got you, Haxing Bros. Um, unknown Da Playa Derman. Got to get him in there. I game Mitch TV, Sindre Oregon, Sul Mo. I think that's how you said S U L O M O H. All right, and then I actually have a photo shout out that I want to give to someone. Um, this is a guy that's been a subscriber of mine for a while, a little bit, and uh, I gave him a shout out in I think a couple videos ago. But I'm gonna give him another one because this guy is a really good YouTuber, and I think that he needs to get noticed. Guys, so do me a favor and check out this guy right here. This is Shadows Uprising. Man, guys, go check out his channel. Show this guy some love. Hit his subscribe button. Um, he actually plays a game on his channel called uh, Stranded Deep. And I didn't even know it existed until I, went and watched his, until I went and watched his video. And this guy is actually really funny, guys. Go check out this guy for me, y'all. Check him out. Show him some love. Hit his subscribe button and like his page and all that. And and let's just support this guy. You know, as YouTubers, we have to look out for one of the guys. And that's why I'm doing this because I feel like this guy needs to be recognized. He needs to be. He's got great content and he's getting views. But he needs to be recognized more. So, guys, please do me a huge favor and go check him out. Shadows Uprising. And uh, subscribe to him. And watch his content. Um, just, just go take care of this, please, guys. I'm, I'm asking you very, very, very nicely. Please do this, okay? This guy really needs some recognition, and I'm, I want to, I want to be the one to help him out. So, do that for me, if you guys would, please. 
Shadows up, rising. This is to you, bro. All right, let's close out of that. And now let's get into our Make Visuals Great Again. Sorry for that long, drawn-out intro, guys. So go ahead and clink, click, yeah, clink, clink, click the link below. It's going to bring you to a page you're not used to seeing. This is the Oz Gamer page, guys. This is the guy that actually made Make Visuals Great Again. This is why you can't find it on, uh, you know, uh, I think it's, it was on lspdfr.com at one time. But, um, and this is also the guy that made um, Agency Callouts, if you guys are familiar with that. So you're going to scroll down, all right, and you're going to download this file right here. All right, Make Visuals Great Again version 2.65.zip. All right, download is about to begin. I guess that's what it said. But guys, let me let me let me warn let me reassure you guys of something and warn you guys ahead of time. Okay, it takes a very powerful gaming PC to pull this mod off. Okay, okay. So just let me tell you. I don't know why it's doing this. That if you guys don't think that you can do this, and your PC uh, is not going to pull it. And don't do it. Like, if your PC is just barely pulling GTA 5, then I would not download this mod, okay? Um, okay, let me, just let me tell you guys how to get to this. Download the file right there. Once it finishes, click, I think it says click download again. And then um, it brings up that little bar across the bottom, as always. It says open, save, and cancel. Go ahead and click save and save it uh, to your desktop, wherever you want to save it to. All right, and we're done with that part. That's pretty much it. All right, so let's um, let's go right into. Hmm, let me see here. Open up the mod. All right, so we're right here and make visuals great again. Now there's a couple steps to this, guys and girls. Okay, so pay very close attention to what I'm telling you. I'll be in detail. Trust me. Um, all right, so open up, make visuals great again. There, click on that. Now we have two different ways we're going to go here. All right, two different installations we have to do, and optionals. We have the Optionals installation and the Automatic installation. We are doing both today, okay? We're doing both. So click on that Automatic installation. Now, again, guys, grab this right here. See, as I said in the last video, OIV means Open IV, guys and girls. So grab this file right here and pull it down to your desktop just like that. All right? Now, once that's done, you can take this back, all right, and minimize that. All right, now the first thing we're going to do with this, you're going to open up your Open IV, okay? I'll give you guys time to open yours up. I know sometimes it takes a while to load that. But um, anyway, so what you're going to do is make sure, of course, as always, like like always, you're in edit mode. All right, and you see your um, Make Visuals Great Again uh, document page there. You're going to go to Tools, Package Installer, and you're going to select desktop, where you dropped it at, and select make visuals great again. Okay, let's open it up, guys. And this is the same as the last video, guys. Same pathway, same direction, same everything, okay? Click install, then click the mods folder, then click the confirmation check mark box, okay? And then after you click that confirmation check mark box, the it's going to start say installing it's going to have three little dots going across the center of the screen right underneath installing they're going to be like spreading apart the dots will once it's done it will say installation complete okay if you see the installation i'm sorry installation succeeded if you see that you know you've done it right okay so once that's done i'm going to close out of that because i already have it i don't need to install it again it'll just make my visuals even greater <laughs> i don't know it may it may make it worse. Who knows? Um, but this is actually a really good mod, guys. When you when you download the mod and get done with it, you're going to see a huge difference in your graphics, guys. Oh my God, it's amazing! It's amazing. Um, okay, guys. So let's go ahead and minimize our um, Open IV, and I want you to open your WinRAR back up, okay? And this time we're going to go to Optionals, okay? Now, see right down here where it says taxi, taxi Sign Fix? It says to install if it's very bright. So here's what I suggest you do. I'm going to go ahead and finish the video, of course, because I have to do that, all right? But you guys can, however, pause right here and go into your game right now if you want to 
to make sure everything looks good. And what they mean by bright is those bright taxi toppers. You know, when the taxis are driving, they got them really bright toppers and it's gleaming in your eyes from the installation of radiance. Well, making visuals great again can cause that same effect, okay? So if you've already installed Radiance, but you've already installed another mod like the, the No More Bright Taxi mod, then you probably don't need to do this step. But just stick with me if you haven't, and we'll get through it, okay? So click, go ahead and click the Taxi Sign Fix, and then click Taxi Sign 2 DDS. Grab that. It's a DDS image. Grab that and pull it to your desktop once again, just like that, okay? It's going to be right there. See, that looks really different from what you're used to. All right, but that's what we're doing. That's the right thing to do, okay? So, you think you can go ahead, and we're safe to close out of this. So, close out of that. Now, open your open IV back up. Again, make sure you are in edit mode, guys, okay? Now, here's the pathway we're going to follow, okay? Just pay very close attention to what I say, and we will get there. You're going to go to mods, okay? Then next, you're going to go to x64e.rpf. Now, if you don't have this in your OpenIV, I'm going to show you real quick how to get that, okay? Open up your GTA 5 directory. All right, let's pull that over. Let's pull this over. Well, that really just messed everything up really bad. I don't like the way that looked. <laughs> uh, okay, so what you're going to do is once you're in your directory, okay, guys? Now, remember, everything goes in your mods folder. You want everything in this folder right here, okay? So once you get in your directory, scroll all the way down, okay? Keep scrolling until you get to the time 64A, B, C, D, times 64e.rpf, okay? That's the file you need inside OpenIV right now, okay? If you don't have it, this is the one you need. So you're going to left-click, highlight, right-click, copy, okay? Scroll back up to your mods folder, go inside, right-click, and paste. Now, this one does not take near as long as the update and the time 64 one did, okay? I promise you guys, it's it's actually pretty fast, all right? So let's go ahead, and once you're doing that, it's just going to take a minute. It doesn't take very long. I'm going to go ahead and close out of my GTA folder. Don't close out of yours if you're doing that, okay? Leave it open. Um, anyway, on the next step, we're going to go from that, from what I said, so mods, then time 64e.rpf, okay? Then we are going to go to Levels, GTA 5, Vehicles.rpf. All right, this is going to take just a second to load up. Now, once you're in here, guys, okay, once you're in here, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to Taxi YTD. You're going to see it right here. See all these YFT and 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 high dot yft and yft all that stuff you're going to see a y a taxi ytd file now watch how far i scroll and keep this in mind this is about where it is all right so see where my little cursor is right there that little block that's about where it is now we're going to scroll back up a little bit and we're going to find that taxi here's your all your ytd files guys right here see so you're going to scroll up till you find that taxi ytd Right there it is. You're going to double click on that, okay? Now, here's what I want you to do. You see how it says share flights on your left, taxi badges, taxi badges in, taxi detail 2. Okay. Click, click on the one that says taxi signs 2. Right there. Okay? You're going to want this image. All right? That's disgusting. Um, but, uh... Okay, so anyway, now remember the DDS file that we just dropped on our desktop, guys? This is literally all you have to do, okay? You're going to click Replace, all right? And you're going to find that Taxi Signs, which is this one right here. You're going to click it, and then you're going to open it. I'm not going to do that. But once you open it, all this will go dim, okay? All this will go dim. So if it goes dim, you know you've done it right. 
Now, keep in mind, this is only if you already go and gone into the game and notice that the taxi lights are way too bright. This will dim it down, okay? And that right there, guys, is it. You have installed Make Visuals Great Again. Click your edit mode once more. Close out of Open IV. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Go check out your game. Enjoy your graphics mod because, trust me, guys, it is absolutely phenomenal. You will know the difference the second you get in there. And if you guys are playing LSPDFR and you light them cop cars up, oh my gosh, guys, y'all are going to love me for this. Seriously. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate the love and support on the YouTube and the Discord. You guys are amazing, man. Um, tune in to me. Uh, I've been trying to post as much as I can, guys. But like I said, I've been so down and out and sick this week, guys. I'm just so sorry I haven't posted as much. I'm trying to get back on schedule. Oh, by the way, guys, you can go ahead and highlight these two right here and get rid of those. Delete them. There you go. Booyah. Bye-bye. Um... So, anyway, guys, I'm going to try to get back on schedule. Um, thank you guys again for your love and support. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.